<clears throat> OK, so what they're asking us to do <coughs> is determine the value of x. All right. So what we need to do now is look into and see, well, what information do we know? What information can we pull from this? So Philip, this is a polygon, right? It has sides, yeah. angles, and it's enclosed. Um, now, <clears throat> looking at that polygon, how many sides does it have? Four. Four. So since it has four sides, by using our interior angle sum theorem, we can say that the number of degree measures in here is going to be n minus 2 times 360 degrees, right? That's the sum of the interior angles. So 4 minus 2 times 360 degrees is 2 times 3, oh, I'm sorry, 180. What am I doing? I was just getting the answer in my head. So 2 times 180 is going to be 360 degrees. What that means, Elizabeth, is this angle plus this angle plus this angle plus this angle equals 360 degrees. So we need to find the values of x. So what would probably be the best thing then I would want to do to be able to solve x? I need to create something. And it starts with an e and ends with a shun. Equation, exactly. I can create an equation. Remember, this 360 degrees represents the sum of all of my interior angles. So sum represents what operation? Add, subtract, multiply, divide? Add. So x plus 2x plus 3x plus 4x equals 360 degrees. So now, all I simply need to do from here is just combine my like terms. Since these are on the same side of the equation and they have like variable factors, I can just combine them. So therefore, I get 10x equals 360 degrees. Solve for x, divide by 10, divide by 10, x equals 36. Therefore, the value of x is going to be 36 for the sum to equal 360. Okay. There you go. Ta-da!